Hello, hello. So here today we're doing a video with Meredith. She's doing a kind of glute and leg focused circuit. I figured I'd talk about it. So we're doing a banded uh, RDLs on our belt squat. And this is to work on the lower part of the glute. So we the part of the banding is is the heaviest part of the exercise, actually the top half now. And by doing an RDL, you can see that she's keeping her shoulders to the front edge of her hips at the lockout. What this all does is it makes sure that we grow the bottom of the glute, not the top of the glute. So uh, everyone's glutes will grow a little bit differently depending on genetics, but um, some women, their upper glute will grow more if they don't pay attention to specifically using their lower glute. So that's what she's doing with this exercise. And this is kind of the heaviest, more aggressive one of the circuit. And that starts us off. And then we have here set up our 45 degree hyperextension where she's doing round and back glute raises. And then this is just a, a plate that she's putting her heels on, doing a goblet hold with that D-ball. And that's for the lower quads. Then we're doing uh, marching lunges or walking lunges uh, with those. So for these round and back glute mornings, um, the focus is that you don't want to use your lower back. So she's actually just going to kind of leave herself a little bit rounded off, uh, almost like a quote-unquote lazy position, but it's intentional. And now you can see the glute squeeze is only coming from down here. It's perfect. So there's no upper glute involvement. There's no lower back involvement. This is spot on perfect form. And you can see how it's getting that lower part to contract. So we just got damage over here, and now we're pumping up that same area for just more blood flow. Now she's going to take a rest, and uh, just so I can show you the handle we're using real quick. Um, this is just a, a mag grip handle. It's one of my favorite handles, but uh, that's the company name is mag. And you can see the way the handle is created. You don't have like a rounded handle that you would have to hold on to like a bar. So you can just kind of like cup your fingers around the handle, and that works well. So she's going to do the squats, but then we're going to do walking lunges kind of up and down this area. And one of the reasons why we wanted to make this video was, is what she's doing right now would be considered a slow circuit. So too often, so there you go, you can see that she has her heels elevated there. And this is going to make her work on her lower quads. So it gets a very knees forward position, but that's appropriate, that's what we're looking for actually. We want a lot of stretch and tension through this part of the knee. So that way we can get the quads down by the knee activated, rather than the quads up by the hip. So this is going to give her a, a sweep further down her leg and it's going to put more muscle mass around her knee, less up by her hip, and she gets a more like a, a thigh that kind of comes out of the knee, comes up and swoops back in, rather than a thigh that looks like a cone. So this is the visual, one of the ways we can do that. So as I was mentioning the slow superset, too often when people do circuits, uh, which I guess this is technically a circuit because you're doing more than two exercises. But when they do circuits, they tend to go so fast that the quality of the movement is garbage and they're really just kind of stressing their aerobic system. So what we want to do is we want to make sure if we're doing a circuit for muscle change and muscle shape, so you can see she's doing the lunges there. If we're doing a circuit for muscle change and muscle shape, we want to make sure that the muscles stay the focus. If you're just blowing through the movements a million miles an hour and the quality is garbage, you're not going to get the results you think you're going to get. You're just getting cardio. You're not actually getting muscle change and muscle results. So we'll see her as she comes back here. So that's something to keep in mind is if you're doing a circuit for shaping and visual effect, make sure that the quality of what you're doing is maximal. So that way you're maximizing the muscular change of the movements. Not just going through a bunch of sets, bunch of reps, being out of breath, and actually just doing a really exaggerated, weird form of cardio. So, best tip I can give you there is just go slow, make sure the quality is good, let the quality of your effort be uh, what you're working on, rather than just a fast pace. Okay, so thank you to Meredith for demonstrating all of this, yeah, and uh, good luck to everybody else.